All right, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to keep your driver's score and your acceptance rate at a very high percent. Like, you know, this, um, these two scores tend to depreciate, especially when you decline requests. Yeah, especially when you decline requests. So I'm going to give you an instance and then I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, pay attention to the driver's score and the acceptance rate we have 95% and 92%. Okay? So, I'm going to I'm going to get an order and then I'm going to reject it and then we'll see how it has depreciated. All right? So, stay tuned. Okay, from all indications, we can see now that, in fact, our driver score is still in 95, and then the acceptance rate is reduced to 91. Okay, that's because I declined the last order. All right, so I'm going to teach you a way to actually keep this at the same rate, okay, while declining orders. So the trick to doing that, mostly, is to actually accept the order, but then reject it and say the reason is because the client wants you to reject it. I'm going to also show you that. So just stay tuned and look at this. All right. It's a very easy way. And for this bonus right here, okay. Um, you know, the minimum acceptance rate is 90 and the completion rate is 85. So it tends to depreciate whenever you reject an order, especially when somebody books you to a place where you don't want to go and, uh, well, you definitely have to decline because you can't go to every single place. It's just good business tactics to, you know, go to places where you know that you're going to get another order and then your day keeps flowing. So, but at the same time, you still want the 2000 bonus. So uh, in order for you to keep this at the same rate, this trick also works. So by all means, I would very much recommend that you pay attention and actually say it. It's quite easy. So let's, uh, let's, Let's see how that is done, okay? So this is how you keep it the same. So now we have a driver score at 95% and acceptance rate at 91%. So let's see if this remains the same after the trick I'm going to do, all right? All right, as you can see, we first accepted the right, and then we went ahead immediately to cancel, but then the reason we gave was that the client asked us to cancel. Any other reason you're going to give, they might ask you to wait for like two minutes, or if, uh, if, if you click on another option, I can't quite remember what the options are now, they might ask you to impute the reason or something like that. But the only one that can cancel immediately is when you say that the client actually asked you to cancel, all right? Because when you do that, it seems like, okay, it's really not, it's really not your fault or something like that, okay? And it keeps your driver's score and your acceptance rate the same. It doesn't change. So even in this bonus that is meant to be at 90% and 85%, it doesn't change. All right, you can't see it now because you know I didn't um, I didn't engage in it today. So, so by all means, please use this. Okay, I've had some uh, some of my colleagues kind of uh, complain to me that you know like their acceptance rate was quite low or their completion rate was quite low, so they could not uh, get the bonus and all that. But this is a very simple way for you to actually choose your trips, decide where you want to go to, and still not have to lose out on the bonus you get so please share and um like i suppose yeah uh, yeah okay so I, I i hope this is helpful we'll talk some other time great thank you bye bye